Bring some breaking news in Richmond, Virginia. A shooter opened fire right after a high school graduation ceremony. Tonight, we know two people are dead, several others are hurt. The shooting sent families just scrambling for cover. Let's begin there in Virginia's capital city. Investigators just gave us an update on this shooting about 90 minutes ago. Or Adam Longo is here now to walk us through some of the brand new details. And Adam, we know police were saying, as one would imagine, this was a very chaotic scene. Yeah, there were hundreds of people there, Zoe. Case in point, in the frantic moments after the gunfire, a crowd of people went every which way and a nine year old girl got hit by a car. Her injuries non life threatening, but a total of seven people were shot. Two of them have died. One has life threatening injuries Four others have non life threatening injuries. Now we, what we can tell you about these victims, all of them are male among the dead, an 18 year old who was at the ceremony because he had just graduated high school, Richmond's Huguenot High School. The other fatality, a 36 year old man and the others who were shot, a 14 year old, 31, 32, 55 and 58 year old. Now, just within the past few minutes, authorities have finished processing the scene. They're taking down the crime tape. Police do have a 19 year old in custody who they believe is responsible for the shooting. Now, a second suspect was initially detained, but released when it was clear that they weren't connected to this. Four handguns have been recovered. Police say the suspect knew at least one of the victims, but it's too early, they say, for details about a possible motive. Here's the chief just a short time ago. People were having panic attacks, falling on the ground, screaming. As I mentioned before, some people fell. One, per one child was hit by a car. So this was a, a very chaotic scene. So this shooting happened just outside of Richmond's Altria Theater, which is on the campus of Virginia Commonwealth University. It was actually VCU police that caught the suspect fleeing from the scene and took him into custody. The chief says they will be pouring over video evidence of the scene to try and get a better understanding of what happened. The mayor of Richmond earlier this evening expressed his shock, asking if no place was sacred. The answer, apparently not. And a young man's life cut tragically short on what should have been the first day of the rest of his life. Richmond's 33rd homicide victim of the year. So yeah, Richmond Public Schools also sending out a tweet tonight saying that remaining graduations are canceled. They're going to have to be rescheduled. So yeah. this is all going to have a lingering effect. Adam, thank you. Mm -hmm.